Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Saturday, it rained. Couldn't make a Saturday car boot sale. Sunday, they was on, but I'm not going in a soggy field. So today I'm just going to smash through my orders and get ready for Monday. Get a nice head start. I went through my Vinted account yesterday and anybody who uses the platform will know that in order to reduce things, you have to painstakingly go through everything. But that is what I did yesterday and I had about 10 sales as I reduced. Because when people watch your items on there, once you make a reduction, I do believe that Vinted send out a notification to let you know that this person's reduced their item. So loads of people would have got that email from me yesterday. I also went onto my eBay, sold similar anything over 1.5 months old because they started to become stagnant and a dead item. You're not getting views anymore. But don't forget, when you do end and sell similar, have a tweak on the price, have a tweak on the title as well. No point in sending something back in there with the complete same setup as you did before that wasn't working in the first place. With all that said, let's dive into some sales. We've got a lot. We've got a lot. Well, I say a lot. A few. I think we'll start with eBay first. Lovely little Habitat Tommy lamp. I'm going to try and show you the items a bit more in depth now. Not too much. Not as long as me explaining what I'm going to do either. But I think it's nicer to understand what's being sold instead of... I know, I always give enough. I say like Tommy Habitat lamp sold for whatever. But it's nice to know a little bit more. But with that being said, this is a lamp. You don't say! It's called the Tommy lamp by Habitat. Habitat's a great little brand to look out for, especially the older stuff. This isn't massively old, but it's old enough. Pound paid, sold for £25 all in. One of the items that I sold similar on. The Yale alarm system that I picked up for £5 at the car boot sale. It's an alarm system. I don't really need to say much more than that. These are quite old, these ones, but they still command money. People buy these for like sheds, garages, outhouses, things like that. Some people use them for their house as well, but I think you can get much better tech for your house now these days. Paid £5, sold for, I took an offer of £55. It lasted like, I listed it less than an hour. I could have got more than this, like I mentioned before. You can aim for the market. The market on these is about $79.99. I listed mine for $69.99, took an offer of 55 five pound into 55 minus postage and fees we don't mind that because it all adds up kylo ren's lightsaber sold for one two three four twelve pounds 34 pence pennies paid star wars don't need so much more than that remote control for a kenwood audio remote wow remote control for a kenwood audio system this is sold for £13.45. Remote controls are always worth looking out for, especially if you can find the older ones by Kenwood, Technics, Bose, all those types of high-end, high-fidelity items. Lots of Sony, lots of Samsung, lots of LG sell as well, but keep an eye out for these ones. Beautiful stuff. This is one of the mid-range, cheap-end ones as well. You can get £50, £60, £100 for some controllers. Now, I don't know if I know your Instagram or anything like that. You... It does say you are a repeat buyer, so you'd have to excuse me for not remembering your username and automatically knowing who you are. But this is sold for £13 and a penny. It's going to Norman and they left a note, which is why I'm even bothering to mention any of all of this. Over the moon with this, mate. Cheers. With the moon emoji. My kind of note. Norman, thank you so much. On its way to you shortly. It's upside down. Betty Spaghetti McDonald's toys. These are quite rare. They do hold a bit of value as well. I sold these cheap to somebody who said they're desperate to get hold of them in the States and they can't get hold of them. I think it was the States. I'll check in a minute. No, R-O. So I think that's Romania. £14.99 all in. I think they actually clicked my offer. No, £14.99 all in. Paid £10 for a massive bundle. I've cleared profit now, but will I buy that bundle again? No, I wouldn't buy massive McDonald's toys bundles again unless they are all from the same franchise and that franchise is worth selling. Somebody had a big box of Pokemon ones, I'd buy them all. Somebody had a big box of, I don't know, Star Wars, I'd buy them all. But all these mixed ones, not for me anymore. The sword has sold. I am hoping this has gone to one of you guys who reached out via Instagram. There was a couple of you and some of you... I didn't fully get back to you, but I did mention where it all was. So I'm hoping this has gone to one of you guys. If not, apologies. You had, I told you where it was. <laughs> £1.50 £1 paid, sold for £11 all in. Don't mind that. Ah, that's why it says repeat buyer, I think. So that Norman figure again, that Norman chap. 
There's another note on this one. Long time sub on your YouTube channel, mate. Love it. Keep it up. And thanks for the jug. Needing shelf fillers. So perfect. Cheers. Norman, really appreciate your purchase, mate. This is like a Guinness pouring mug. You can almost see the shape of it here. Whenever I store my ceramics or breaker balls, I always pre-wrap them so they're not just banging around in the boxes if I haven't got them stored on a shelf. So they stay nice and sturdy and unbroken. Really nice little mug, this. I paid £3.50, I think. Sold it for £11.39. pence. But like I say, it all adds up to the sales. Norman, if you've got anything you wanted me to plug, let me know and I'll shout you out on the next one. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you. So that's you. So you're buying that and the moon. £7.59 now is this Sony PlayStation headset. I've had this listed and taken down and listed and taken down the removed and sold similar thing, not taken off. For the best part of a year, a year. This time I took it down, changed the price, moved two words in the title. I moved, it said Sony PlayStation PS3 Bluetooth now. Whereas last time I think it said Sony PlayStation Bluetooth PS3 headset. I just moved some stuff around. Sold. Only for £7.59, but I don't care at this point. Came in a big bundle of stuff. So having a jig around on my eBay yesterday has resulted in 60% of those sales there being sold. And they are old stock that just wasn't doing anything. So you have a little play around with your eBay. Anything, you can go to your listings, click time active or time listed, whatever. Filter it so it's the highest first so you can see what your oldest listing is. Then anything like a month especially two months, 100% three months old, just select all, end them, change the title, change the price, lower the price, preferably. Or if you've had a really crap title and you've just realised, probably could higher the price. That might be the reason why you haven't sold it. But then sell similar, let them all go back into the market and you'll get a load of sales come through. It's proven in the circle, we all do it, but don't just end and sell similar, end, change title, change price, sell similar. Even if you just make a small change in the title. Right, moving on to Vinted now, and we've got a whopping bunch. Like I said, I went through that and did the, the eBay equivalent of removing and changing things. I reduced all the prices manually. I even used the bump feature on two items, and one of them sold. I don't care about the bump feature. I just wanted to test it. I've never used it before. So I paid a pound to bump it. It was a pair of jeans that I was getting no views on for three months, four months. Not only did I reduce the price, bearing in mind nobody would have got an email saying this seller has reduced the price because there was no watches on it and then bumped it and it sold. Bump feature does work. The conspiracy theorist of me likes to think that for the first few bumps, you've got somebody in the vintage head office buying stuff, sending it to their house just to show, no, 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 it works. It works. Bump feature works. Use it, bro. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right. Okay. So let's just move straight into it. Shit. I've still got a bag of parcels down there. I've not shipped off yet. Okay. 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 I see, I see, I see. We've sold the Rab Superflux hoodie. One more of the £107 bundle deal that I picked up a couple of weeks ago from the car boot sale now. I think that breaks me into the Profitsville area. Woohoo! We have, we have arrived. We've landed. £32 on Vinted. Then Josh reached out on Vinted and said, Hi, Ricky. I love your YouTube channel. Been following you for a good couple of years now. Think I've bought something from you before. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'll do the same thing, mate. Don't worry about it. Really interested in this as I'm a big collector. Would you accept a cheeky offer of £23? I think I had it listed for £29.99. So I replied and said I can do better than that, mate. I sent him an offer of £22. £22 for this Turtles Nez cartridge boxed with the insert and the manual, but the box is a little bit tatty, a bit ratty. It's all showed on there. Josh, this is coming out to you, mate. £22. Massively appreciate that. One of the items that I reduced that had been listed for most of this has been listed for like four to six months, all right? So when I tell you reduced, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know the process that I mean. So reduced and has now sold for £3.97 is this Desert Strike with the manual and the car. It's all in there. Nice little cheap deal. Don't think it's worth too much anyway on eBay, like eight or nine quid or something. Happy with that. Some lovely Cos joggers reduced, paid £3. Wasn't selling on there. I'll... The thing is, when I list stuff on Vinted, normally by some point I've deleted the photo. What I should do is save the photos in a different file for a while. And if they don't sell on Vinted, then stick them onto eBay. But I can't be bothered with screenshot and cropping, screenshot and cropping. Can't be bothered with all of that. So nine times out of ten, once they're on there, they're on there until they die. They either sell or they die. A couple of things died last night. I took them off and deleted it. But £3 paid for some Cos joggers with nice flair. Sold for £5.20. Reduced. 
Another one reduced, peaceful hooligan t-shirt. You might remember I paid £3 each for a bunch of t-shirts. Carhartts, Burghouses, North Faces, a few of those different ones. I'm into pure profit on all of it now. I've made about 40 quid on that bundle, if I'm honest. This was the one that I took a risk on, never heard the brand, picked it up. It wasn't worth a massive amount of money, but it's still a cool t-shirt. Reduced it last night to £3.75, gone. Luigi's Mansion toy, reduced last night, sold for £8.21. I paid... What, 50p for that, I think. It's worth a bit more than that, to be honest. But it doesn't matter. I was reducing stuff, clearing out old stock, making room. Ah, we've got a bundle now. So this bundle is from Anon Wheels on Vinted. I'll have your name up on the shipping label in a minute. Have a look. Thomas, massively appreciate your mate. He's picked up a bundle of stuff on Vinted now. Bundled it all together and sent me an offer. And in that, for £18.24 is the Nintendogs plush dog, the IKEA cactus or cacti cack something the alien dallas figure and another bundle of happy meal toys from the same bundle that the last lot was from that i picked up 18 pound and 24 pence is going to you thomas really appreciate that it's going to clear a nice bit of space in those boxes rachel has picked up the ann geddes squirrel that i picked up from the car boot sale for two pound she's picked it up for £1.85. Reduced it last night. It wasn't going anywhere. Never mind. Really appreciate your business. Be on its way to you shortly. Adidas F10s. Absolutely battered. Terrible condition. Somebody will get some use out of them. £5 on Vinted. There is two of those, I promise. I keep running out of iPhone space. I think that ended in a good spot. I think. But anyway, Ted Baker makeup bag. Sold for £1.50 on Vinted. I got a message from Kirsty and Jack saying that me and my husband, Mr. Dume92, which I think you left a comment last night, after you buying this, I then had a comment on a recent YouTube video, and I think I recognise the usernames. We watch your videos daily and absolutely love your content from Kirsty and Jack. Listen, I appreciate the pair of you massively. This is going to be on its way to you very shortly, and stay tuned for the next video, I guess. Speaking of those t-shirt bundles, the Carhartt has sold. I had to reduce and reduce and reduce. Sold yesterday for £6.75. I paid £3 per t-shirt. Some of them sold for 20 odd quid each. If I buy bundles and I start getting down to the last few drops of it and I've already made my dosh, I'm happy to do deals and offers and things like that. True Religion Ricky Jeans. Terrible handwriting. Look at that. They call it shorthand. I call it cack-handed. Paid £5 from the car boot sale. Tom wasn't sure whether to pick them up or not or whatever else because, I don't know, he didn't know how to measure a leg. He does know. I'm just, just winding him up. £5 paid. Sold for £15 and a few pence on Vinted. Reduced them, of course. And one of the bumped for a pound and reduced items that had no views and no sales was the Calvin Klein jeans. No views, no, well, barely any views, no watchers whatsoever, and they've been sat there for ages. I bumped it for a quid and reduced the price to £4.75, £4.25, and they sold. So £3.25 I'm getting out of these. I don't care. They owe me nothing now, part of a big bundle, and they're gone. Hate seeing dead stuff on my Vinted. Because when you boost your wardrobe on Vinted, and you look at the price, somebody put a post up on Instagram yesterday, I don't think they realised. I can't remember who it was now. SBS Reselling Co, I think. I think. If that's correct, then my memory is fantastic this morning. I'm going to have one coffee. But the bigger your wardrobe, the more it's going to cost you to highlight and spotlight your wardrobe. And I think, or believe it or not, I think the hidden items and the solds that you've already got, I delete all my solds. Once it gets past the completed stage and the little three dots in the corner come up and you can delete the item, I delete them. I don't want anything in my wardrobe that doesn't need to be there. You get charged more money depending on how big your wardrobe is. So a modest wardrobe will cost you 675 ish give or take. Medium wardrobe, 9.95 or something like that, and so on. I've never had much of a massive wardrobe, to be honest. But yeah, so bear that in mind. If you do use Vinted and you spotlight your wardrobe, which I think you should anyway, the more you have, the more you'll pay. So there we go. There's the sales that I've had over the weekend. Well, it's now Sunday, so I've still got the whole... What time is it now? 11.06. I've got up late today. I've got up at 10 past nine. What the hell? So I've still got the rest of the day to make some sales. Oh, I'm hungry. Can you hear that? Jesus. I need to go to Greg's. I like doing sales updates videos. Whenever I do these, please bear in mind, I like to think that I don't come across this way, but please bear in mind, they're not gloating, bragging videos. You watch me when I pick up the items and you enjoy watching that. So I'd like to think that you would enjoy watching when I sell the items. Because when I pick them up, I give a rough estimation of what I think they're worth, or I give an exact estimation on previous sales history and my knowledge. And it's nice to see the cycle the full cycle you see me pick it up 
I'd like to think you'd like to see me selling them. Well, I would anyway. If I was following a journey like that, I'd want to see start to finish, no matter if I was right or wrong on my prices. I released a video yesterday talking about the jumper that I picked up from Josh, and I told a little bit about the story, and I had some really nice lovely comments the video is not about sympathy the video was about telling a story a little part of my story i had a few people saying it was nice he was there when you was at your lowest i have had many many of my lowest situations that is just one of many yes very sad anyway and i do believe that what i've gone through in my life good or bad for right or wrong it has made me who i am today i am a massive massive tosser but I will always do right and always, well, I try to do right. I make mistakes, but my heart is always in the right place and I will never see somebody suffer if I'm in a position to help and I would never make somebody feel like shit and bully them, especially online, which is why I use your guys' comments who talk trash on my comment section. I just put you on blast. Some of you might only be following me on YouTube and don't realise that I do have an Instagram account and the link is down below. And you guys who leave junk comments on my YouTube videos, nine times out of 10, you get a star feature over on my Instagram. So if you are one of those, please do go follow my Instagram as well. You might see yourself on there one day. My point to that message is turn negative into a positive, basically. The world is a bit messy at the moment and we can always do a little bit to keep pushing forward in the right direction. Doesn't matter where you learn your lessons, who taught you, what you went through to get there. Just be nice. Nice is nice. But don't forget, I'll still get you in a headlock and nuggy you if you annoy me. Take care, see you later, boy. Get here, you little scamp.